I'm going to teach you today how to perform a great shave. Shaving has been around almost as long as men have been around, dating back to even before ancient Egypt. Back during that time, men used clams in some areas of the world and circular gold or copper razors that have been even found in the tombs of ancient Egypt. It was not until the late 1800s that a hose-shaped razor was invented by William Henson and the idea further advanced by adding a disposable double-edged blade by a man named King Camp Gillette. When the early 1900s came around, the electric razor made its mark on the industry, which was designed by a man named Jacob Schick. These were selling by the millions until Gillette had another innovation, which was the introduction of stainless steel blades, which were longer lasting and didn't rust. Also, a new company by the name of Bic introduced the first totally dispensable, disposable razors, which made shaving even more convenient. Convenience is of major importance because of how most men shave on a daily basis. Being clean shaven is the epitome of being a well-groomed man, so it is important to know how to shave correctly. There are several materials needed in order to shave properly. There is a razor that you need, shaving cream, a washcloth, warm water, a mirror, and an optional, optional post-shave lotion at the end. I'm John Dowdy and I'm going to teach you how to shave your face properly. So, step one is to get your washcloth and run it over, run it under some warm water. You're going to want to get the washcloth pretty damp so that when you go over your face, you're leaving a small water film and making sure your face is nice and moist. I love doing this when I get out of the shower because it pretty much saves this step and it saves time. Then you're going to get shaving cream, squirt a little bit on your hand and just start rubbing it in on your cheeks, on your chin, the upper part of your neck, all the way up to your hairline, your mustache area. and get it nice and lubed up. You're gonna rinse your hands. The next step is to get out your razor. Now, when you get out your razor, you're gonna have an indicator strip at the top. If that is white, that indicates that your razor is bad and needs to be replaced. This is a brand new Bic razor, so it's an unnecessary step for me. So, I usually like to start out with rinsing it to get the razor the same temperature as the water. And then, you just start gliding the razor over your face. You don't want to press too hard. You want to let the razor do the work. Every couple of times you go across your face, you want to rinse the razor underneath the water so that you, you don't have excess hair in your razor. Because that eliminates the clean skin contact with from your razor to your skin, which you want. And you just keep on going, make sure you got a sharp haircut right your hairline and you always want to shave with your grain which is usually in a downward direction now if you want a closer shave you hold your skin down and go against the grain that's only if you want a closer shave to your skin and thus you have to be a little bit more careful because as you're shaving against the grain you have a higher tendency to nick your face, nick your skin and and cut yourself. So as you're coming down to the wire You realize that most of your shaving cream has left your face. And you're almost done with the whole process.
knock the excess hair off. And at the conclusion of your hair cutting portion, you switch from hot to cold water, rinse out your washcloth again, and then start rubbing it all over your face. The change from cold, hot to cold water allows you to seal up some of your open pores and get that smooth feeling on your face that you want. You turn off your water, you always want to save water. And then, once your face is the majority dry, you get a towel, dry your face off, and here's an optional step for most people, is aftershave post gel conditioner. And what this allows you to do is you add it to your face after your uh, shave and this um, helps soothe your face prevents dry skin allows for some elimination of razor burn and those red bumps that sometimes come on your face after and the best part of all is that it smells nice and a lot of people like the smell of post shave lotion so with that I have taught you how to properly shave your face and you are all completed. Now you're ready for whatever the day has in store for you because you'll look great.